Hey everybody, this is Linda with Hands That Cook and I'm over at my best friend's house and we're going to make a resemblance of turtles because this is an easier recipe. Now in, the, in her bowl we've got one bag of caramels and they only have 40 caramels in them and we needed 51 so we opened another bag to get 51 caramels. I am going to add, it's already been added, it's Eagle Brand Sweetened Condensed Milk. Are we putting this in the microwave, Barb? Yes, for four minutes. Going in the microwave for four minutes, and then I'll bring you back. All right. We haven't put this in the microwave yet, but we're about to put two and a half to three cups of... Oh, that's not going in there? Not until it's melted. It's not going in yet. When we melt this... We're going to stir in those pecans, and I'll bring you back. All right. Our caramels and the sweetened condensed milk have just come out of the microwave after they have heated for four minutes, and I'm stirring it together. I'm going to move back a little bit. Stirring it all together. Over in the far bowl over there, she said three cups of broken up pecans work better, so... We got three cups of broken pecans right there. Spray your pans because if you don't, your candy will stick. Right. All right, is that good enough, Barbie? Mm -hmm. So I pour these pecans in now. Yeah, go ahead and pour them in. So in go the pecans. I'm gonna move this back just a little bit, and we're gonna stir these in. See, now these will taste like turtles, but they're much easier to make because you're not forming a, a head and four legs. All right. So we got our caramels in there. Let them cook for about two minutes and then go drop them on the pans. Huh, let them sit. Let them sit after that for about two minutes. Okay, you did y'all hear her? I don't know why she's afraid to talk. She talks all the darn time. Uh, we're going to let them sit two minutes so they'll be easier to handle. And then I'll bring y'all back again. Now, Barb said you got to let this sit about ten minutes, but honestly, it's been almost a half an hour. You got to wait till it thickens some so that it doesn't spread out on your pan. And you see it's gotten thicker and it's cool enough to manage. So I got my sprayed pan right here. I'm going to set it down. Let me get this on. What are you doing? I'm getting the candy off there. You can't do it with that one. Oh. You can't drop it with the big with the wood spoon. You have to stir it with a wood spoon, by the way. Okay. Always. <laughs> All right. Now this is just a regular teaspoon right here. Let me get up a little closer. Regular teaspoon. I'm going to take it. And now you can make these as big or as small as you want. And you just slide it onto your sprayed pan. I'll do a few on camera for you. I hope everybody's having a great holiday season. That one's not big enough. Um, there we go. You don't, it won't ever really harden, will it, Barbara, on you? Yeah, you have to While you're it. dipping them? No, it has to freeze. Okay. Barbara's the queen of candy. <laughs> you see what I'm doing, y'all? Not really. But you will now. Here we go. And you just drop them. Then, after I get through getting this sheet full, this is going to go in the freezer for a few hours till it hardens and then 
Um, dip them in chocolate. Yeah, we're going to dip it in chocolate, and I'll bring you back for that. But right now, I think you've seen me dip enough of this. Mine are kind of big. I'm a diabetic. But during the holidays, I'm the worst. I am the worst. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Yeah. Barbara's my oldest and dearest friend. We would do anything for each other, wouldn't we, Barb? You got that right. All right. You see what I'm doing? I'm cutting you off now. See you in a bit. All right. We have... I think the last thing I told you was that you had to let that candy and, I mean, the uh, caramel and the sweetened condensed milk and the pecans cool for 10 minutes, and it's more like a half an hour, about like that. When it gets, starts getting, uh, cooling off enough that you can handle it, then, and uh, that's when you start dropping it. And, and uh, then... Barbara uses this um, golf wax. It's a household paraffin wax. And she uses, I'm going to show you. Well, this is the whole bar. And she grates about a third of it. About one third. And, um, uh, you know, you buy these at the store, and you melt that with with the grated paraffin in it. And then you start dipping your candy. And that's what we're going to show you next, is, how, is to dip the candy. So, um, we'll be back in just a minute when we get everything ready for you. We have got the candy out of the freezer. And even though that pan has been sprayed... It still sticks just a little bit. And uh, Barbara, um, her microwave melted that candy in two and a half minutes. So you go by your own microwave. See, it's not that But hard. you want it this consistency. Yeah, you see it. it you want it, help drip it from that fork. That's how you want it. We're going to dip a couple of pieces for you. Well, she is. Here we get them loose. That's the hard part. And it's not hard. Yeah. It just... That there we stick. go. Yeah. And even though, you know, they're not the typical turtle, they're going to taste like turtles, right? They're delicious. But if you want to take the time to use the half pecans... Good luck. <laughs> and make them look like turtle turtles, you go right ahead. Whoop, I got to get down there, Barbie. I'm sorry. Let's see. Put it, well. Here? Yeah. I'm going to, there we go. I can hold this. She's going to dip. Just turn them over. Flip them back over. And, and I use a two-prong fork. To balance them with and to shake the extra chocolate off of. See, like that? Mm hmm. Then you just. Well, wait a minute, I didn't show them that, so okay. we'll, <laughs> we'll let you do it one time. Let's okay. see. So, I put them nut first and flip them over. Then I drip the extra chocolate off the edge by just tapping the edge of the bowl. Okay, and, and then it goes lay right it on, the... on the foil. Okay. Now she said use foil because wax it'll stick to wax paper. Mm -hmm. Is what she said. Well, I need to <laughs> I need to get all this in here. Let me move back out. There we go. Now I'm holding this thing, so if it's not steady, y'all forgive me. There you go. You can pretty much see everything she's doing. But you can see how easy this is. It's an easy candy to make through the holidays, Easter, 
you know, anytime you you want to make some good can, and I'm telling this is exceptional. It's very good because we made it together before. This isn't this isn't our first rodeo, y'all. <laughs> I've been making it about forty five years. Long time. Long time. Well, I think you have seen everything you need to see. You know how to make it and how simple it is. So, I'm going to turn this video off and I'm going to tell you Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. But you'll see me again before Christmas. But, um, y'all try to make this candy because you're going to like it. And uh, the work you put into it depends on you. You saw the easy method right here. So, say goodbye, Barbie. Goodbye. Merry Christmas. All right. Thank you for coming in and spending part of your day with us. Uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't and hit that little bell so that you'll be notified every time I make a new video and upload it. So, God bless every one of you. And I'll see you next time. Let's get a good shot of that candy. Yep. Bye, y'all.